All right. Joined by a guy that Travis Kelsey one time sm- said he smelled like pine wood. Where was it? A forest? What was it? He said I smelled like incense. Oh, like no. incense. J- JK, he said I smelled like a tree and then that I smelled like incense. He goes, okay. damn, man, you smell like a tree. And I was like, okay. What does that mean? What are we jo- doing? <laughs> joined by a guy who is obviously a Travis Kelsey honk. Homer. Um, Homer, we're really excited to have that situation going. Um, TNF, we've got Chargers. We've got the Kansas City Chiefs in Amazon's first TNF broadcast. Uh, Lou, I'm really excited to see what we have in store for tonight. Um, obviously, we're gonna be we're gonna be building a DraftKings lineup probably in the next couple of minutes. Uh, I already reserved my entry. There was one time, Lou, where I did this last year uh, for a Steelers-Vikings game where I was getting ready to to put everything together and I had all of my t- my team set up and it was too late. I, had, I hadn't submitted it oh, God. by the time that it closed, so I couldn't do it, so it was all for naught. But, you know, shit happens. So um, a little background on why I'm such a Travis Kells homer. You guys know that we go to Tahoe every year for the American Century Classic. And uh, every year he comes and chills with us. And this past year, something pretty cool happened where he kind of came up to us, Stugats is with us. He dapped up Stugats and he was like, yo, what's up? And he's like, oh, like, this is the team. You know, I dapped him up, all good. He was standing next to me and that's when he kind of gave me the, the, the comment about that I smell like a tree. Um, and then it was cool because Pat McAfee was chilling like across the room with like Aaron Rodgers and like, dude, like star-studded little group there. They kind of call him over. And he's like, oh, like, hey, I'll be right back, guys. He kind of goes, he chills for like 30 seconds a minute. And then, like, he kind of, like, daps everybody up. And then, like, I kind of see him, like, meandering. He's kind of, like, you know, everyone's talking. And, you know, you're just kind of, like, listening and doing the whole thing. And then he kind of just came back and chilled with us. And that's when I knew. I was like, hold on, bro. This guy just told me rather would chill with us than with Pat McAfee and A-Rod and all these people. Uh, I don't know what his motives were. It could be, you know, that he was trying to distance himself from certain people in that group. But uh, regardless, he chose us specifically. He stood next to me, and he was like next to me for like an hour. And he was just and like, he's, you know, making. Obviously, let's let's put let's put everything into perspective. He's double your size and triple your weight. Correct. No, uh, I, I would. Hopefully, he's not triple my weight, but he's definitely a very, very. Actually, CC Zabathia is definitely triple my height and triple my weight. That's for sure. CC's CC's massive. He's a he's a, he's a, he's a massive a huge hunk of guy. Man. Yeah, big guy. He's a huge guy. Um. All right. Let's uh. Let's let's fire up the uh the old DraftKings machine again. If you're playing DFS, make sure you get to DraftKings. You can actually join our weekly pool. Um. I think it's DKNG dot com slash no DK, DK dot NG slash Levitard something like that. We'll Definitely see. Definitely feels can... like you should know the answer to that. This guy, so I have I have a buddy of mine who I I don't know if he's a friend. He's more of more of a more of an enemy. Um, he he's on a on a podcast for the Dolphins, and he says he's texting me to see that. To see if I'll read his text on the live stream. Um, I barely have his number saved. I'm trying to see who it is. Um, I think his name is. <laughs> I think it's. I think his name is Alex. I'm not 100 percent sure. What does that mean? You know how your phone suggests like maybe it's this person. Oh, okay. That's actually a really good comeback to this. Like I, I don't. I barely have it. I only have like, like, the first like three like digits of his. Like yeah, he's like he's referenced it before and been like, yo, what's up? It's it's Alex. And then I think my phone is like, yo, it's Alex. Oh, wait, is it Alex Alex? Maybe, maybe it's Alex. Yeah, it's Alex Alex. Hmm. Anyway, shout out to him. He's a producer shout for Alex, Hawkman Alex. And Crowder. Yeah, f- producer Hawkman and Crowder. Uh, he does the Porpoise Pod with Brendan Tobin um, at Alex M. Solon. Brendan, uh, Brendan Tobin was, uh, he joined us for MMA Hangout last he did. Saturday. So he that did. Was fun. Yeah. Um, we got big news for MMA Hangout for 281, or excuse me, 280. Uh, coming up in October, but you, let's you get to what that. you keep teasing that. Now. I know because I, I got to that show and I still don't know what that, what the big, because is. I have, because I got to figure it out with some people, you know, we got to do, <laughs> you know, come on, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? All right. The oh, uh, man, main funny. event tonight, we've got, uh, we're actually going to rip a little 30 K tourney. Let's see if I can zoom, uh, zoom in here. What's the, okay, here we go. NFL showdown 30 K pile on single entry. Uh, it is captain, 
uh, a captain showdown. So that means we get to pick one player to be our captain slot, which as you can see here is, de you know, the little the little crown. Uh, we do one and a half points, one and a half fantasy points per uh, okay. point that our captain gets. So here's the tricky thing about captains. If you haven't joined us uh, last Thursday, we were with Drew Dinkmeyer, a uh, Hall of Fame DFS guy. He was kind of breaking some of these slate things down. So if you weren't here with us last time, captain gets one and a half points, but their their salary is also elevated. Again, on DraftKings, we get $50,000 of salary, and we have to pick six different guys. So like we talked about last week, um, it's almost about telling yourself a narrative, right, of what the game is going to do. Like what what's the narrative behind what the game is going to going to produce right so, so can you so you gave me really bad news today can you want you want to start with that narrative <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'd have to, i have to find it but so do, so i do, have i have a go ahead go ahead no no no. i was gonna say tell tell them about you picking travis kelsey crazy highs that way i can filibuster for a second so i can get my stat so in my main ppr league i drafted travis kels from the what was it? The one nine position, the ninth spot. Yeah. Um, I, listen, I was, you know, I wanted, you know, jets. I wanted chase or, uh, uh, the other, the, the or Cup, okay. I found it. I found it. You're done. Okay. okay. You're done. Thank you drafted, you, you drafted Travis Kelsey one nine. Anyways, uh, as we're searching, sorry to cut you off. No, as we're, <laughs> as we're searching for a captain, um, I really like Travis Kelsey, right? He had what? Eight for, Eight for one oh nine in a touchdown last week. Eight for one twenty nine in a he touchdown last week. Yeah, he was wide he receiver was, one from the tight end slot. And yeah, he was, a, value. he was a beast. He, well, he wasn't wide receiver one because he was because Justin Jefferson went nuclear. But um, he was like wide receiver like four or something as a tight. Well, end. when I say that, he's like a top tw wide receiver one is like your top twelve receiver, right? Because he, he could be slotted into your wide receiver one slot. Or mm -hmm. is that a bad way to do that? Sure. In season longs, yeah, I agree. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> um, so here's here's the kicker, right? Obviously, the Cardinals uh, are kind of panning out to be not a good team. Obviously, it's been one, week one only, but their offense is really stagnant. They're missing a lot of playmakers. Their defense, uh, Travis Kelsey was doing anything he wanted in the middle of the field. Their safeties and linebackers couldn't contest with him whatsoever, and he, out of eight, out of nine targets, he caught eight passes, which tells me that nobody was even close half the time. Um, but here we have a different a different situation, right? Derwin mm -hmm. James, all world safety for the Los Angeles Chargers, makes a like really that. big difference when he's on the field when Travis Kelsey plays, right? So here's the stat, and this is uh, according to Rich Rebar from Sharp Fantasy, Sharp Football. This is also how you greeted me this morning, like. You, you, yeah. I don't think you said what's up to me this morning in the studio. And then no, I like, said I have bad news. Yeah, that's exactly how you start, which immediately filled with anxiety. Yeah. And then sure enough, you, you told me this, and the anxiety was uh, well had, I guess. Yeah. We got the chat. We got the chat going. Shout out to the chat. Um, we've got, I'm thinking, is it Gunner's Boss? Lou, can you see it? I'm, I'm far away from my screen. Gunner's Boss. He's what's the name of this show? Brother, the smart name is people. Smart Football People, as you can see in the in the little right-hand corner right there. That's a little nod to an, uh, uh, a show joke if you uh, watch the show. It's a little uh, tip of the cap. Uh, Al uh, Alonzo, yes, you can play DraftKings DFS in Florida. Um, just go to DraftKings, uh, either the app or online. Because the thing is, we're different here, right? Like, everybody does it on their phone. We build our lineups on the desktop, yeah. Okay. Like big boys. Like big boys. Anyways, getting back to the to the point. So Derwin James, when he's on the field, there's a big problem for Travis Kelsey. And here is the stat. Since Derwin James entered the NFL in 2018, Travis Kelsey has secured 16 of 30 targets. That's 53 percent for 159 yards and zero touchdowns with Derwin James on the field. That's so he's got 16 Especially when catches. Especially twice a year. Right. So since 2018, that's been 18, 19, 20, 21. Has been five years. Damn. Oh my God, that's that's not good because he's caught 16 <laughs> balls for 159 yards and zero touchdowns with Derwin James on the field. Kelsey's been targeted 20% of his 144 routes on those snaps, posting 1.1 1 
yards per route run, which is not great. Uh, so that's the first thing I told you, and you were not happy. But No, I'm not happy. But here's the thing. If I trust anybody, I trust Andy Reid, I trust Eric Bieniemy to scheme their best player, their found foundational piece on offense outside of Patrick Mahomes to get open no matter who's covering. Right? They unless they play Derwin James on Travis Kelsey every single time, which defensively they're just not going to do. I don't see that being the case. Um Kelsey is still such a magnet a for tar yeah, a menace but also a magnet for targets. Um, that I still think that he can put up a decent game. Uh, right, he would cost us sixteen thousand, sixteen five to be our, to be our captain, yeah, which is steep. kind of a steep price because we want to get Mahomes again, right? So if we were to flex Mahomes, he would only cost us eleven eight, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Mahomes in because I don't like the price that we'd have to pay for him as a captain, but we want Mahomes in there. Uh, obviously, we saw what Derek Carr did. To the Chargers defense, J.C. Jackson didn't play. I'm reading that he's pushing to play this week. They didn't practice, obviously, because of the short week. J.C. Jackson really wants to get in. I think he's going to test it pregame and see. J.C. Jackson, obviously, a really good corner. But we're not worried about Travis Kelsey being covered by J.C. Jackson. That's more of a Juju Smith-Schuster, Marquez uh, Valdez-Scantling. Guys, like, in that wave would be guarded by J.C. Jackson. So And can, and can you can – you just my an actual question. Why not Justin Herbert? Why not Justin Herbert? Yeah. The thing is, at if if I don't take a quarterback with my captain pick, right? Obviously, we don't get that one and a half points, and we're hoping Mahomes goes off. We're hoping Justin Herbert goes off. But if I flex both of them, now I've spent twenty two grand instead of something more, right? Well, I and guess now my I can question start was more. Why would you pick one over the other? I guess. Well, I want um, I want both, right? Because I'm I'm understood prognosticating that this game mm. is going to be high scoring. I've seen a lot of smart people, hence the name of the show. Football a lot of smart football, football people uh, writing and and potting that this contrarian play for this game, where everybody's zigging on this is going to be a shootout game, the zag and contrarian lineup that may win, right? That that the whole the whole point of DFS is. We want to have a unique lineup so that way when our unique lineup hits, we have different lineups and we get paid better than everybody else. So gotcha. the contrarian lineup here would be more of a defensive game, would maybe be having running backs, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, if you think that the Chiefs are going to win in a slowed-down game, Austin Eckler, if you think the Chargers are going to win in a slowed-down game. I'm not worried. Uh, big picture, I'm not worried about Austin Eckler's usage. Uh, I know he played... What was it like 49 to like 51 percent of the snaps? We saw a lot of Sony Michelle, who they had just signed. We mm -hmm. saw a lot of uh, Josh Kelly, who they also had, who they're not really in love with either. Um, and they didn't do anything. They had like 11 combined carries for like 30 yards. Um, Austin Eckler still had 18 touches, even though he played 49 to 51 percent of the snaps. Don't quote me on that. But I still like him in season long. I'm absolutely biasly hoping that he does absolutely nothing today because I'm playing him in a big money league against against one of my boys and his team is always trash and I definitely don't want him to beat me uh, especially having a monster game from Austin Eckler which again he's liable to do at any point in any game because he has probably be one of the a lot of high moves. value touches yeah exactly so I'm not going to double down and, and put Austin Eckler in my lineup selfishly because I don't want to to root for him whatsoever like, I want him to get the ball 13 times on the ground, run for 65 yards, get four catches for 30 yards, and that's it. See ya. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to skip over Austin Eckler today selfishly, even though his salary is 10-2. Uh, I'm good with that. So, here we are. Let's get our captain. <sighs> we're going to have to... If we, if we take Kelsey as our captain with 1.5, and, and basically what would be a tight end premium league, right? That drops us down to ten five to fill with three spots, which is which is I mean, it's tough because we're gonna have to go cheap. Even though I kind of like some guys that are cheap, um, I'm gonna take Kelsey out right now. I'm gonna take Kelsey out right now, and I want to fill in the back end of our roster with some cheaper guys, so that way we can see what we actually have on the way back um, that we can get and spend up on a captain. So 
Let's switch to flex. Um, somebody that I talked about on, if you're not following me at 10 day, Tony on Instagram, uh, and TikTok, and, and obviously Twitter, uh, I put out a top five waiver ads for the week. I snuck in this guy, but I really like, uh, Deandre Carter this week. That's right. You did. He, he went, uh, th- he went three, he went three for 54 in a touchdown or four for 54 in a touchdown in a reserve role. Obviously, I was remiss to say at the beginning of the show, Keenan Allen is out today, hamstring injury. Keenan's a, a guy that needs to be tended to because he's had a lot of industries in the past. Uh, excuse me, uh, injuries in the past. Uh, I think Josh Palmer steps up into an every down role. Uh, and Lou, we have to figure out what we want to do as far as like our stack, right? Like the way that you win in DFS is stacking players. The objective, and Drew Dinkmeyer told us this last week, The objective for DFS is to have the least amount of things need to go right. And what I mean by that is if we have a stack in which we have Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and Juju Smith-Schuster, we can see a world in where Patrick Mahomes is dominating. He's feeding the ball to Juju and Kelsey. And all of a sudden, our team is scoring points in bunches because our main guy is passing it to guys that we have on the team. Right? I don't need to explain a stack. You guys are smart. Smart football people get it. Uh, we have to decide, Lou, you and I, what stack we want to go with. Do we want to go with a KC stack? Do we want to go with a Justin Herbert and the Chargers stack? So right now, we've got both guys there, and we have to figure out what we want to do. So how much... Sorry, Thank that's you, my Fitz. dog. Fitz yeah. is also trying to chime in on what stack we want to go with. So the stack that I kind of like lean on initially is the Juju Mahomes stack. Just mm-hmm. because he kind of like Juju from the slot was you know doing good, and obviously we have the Derwin James issue with Travis Kels out in the uh, in the field that you have filled me with anxiety with. Um, so like logically, <laughs> I don't see Nicole, I don't see Nicole Harmon doing much. Um, you you talked about Isaiah Pacheco. I know that's not part of the stack, but you told me that a lot of his carries were at the fourth quarter when they're already blowing the team out. Yes. Um, it feels like like my instinct says, depending on the price on Mike Williams, depending on the price on Juju. One of those two guys. I'm leaning Juju just because I, I do think he's cheaper. I don't see it there on your on your uh, yeah. On your Juju here. Juju is definitely cheaper. We have to scroll up a little bit. He's eight grand to Mike Williams is nine, so not a big difference. Uh, so here's here's the other thing, uh, and a lot of this uh, a lot of this stuff is coming from EstablishTheRun.com. They do an amazing job of projections. They do a bunch of great DFS content. We'll have Adam. Shout out, shout out to those guys. Shout out to Establish the Run ETR. The best in the business. We're gonna have Adam Rauch next week, who puts up the uh, the game scores uh, articles, which tell you which which uh, which games have the best probability of hitting uh, offensively. And he actually gave me a little bit of a sneak peek. He said he's he's got his whole algorithm, really smart guy, and his algorithm spit out a specific game to be the best for for game scores this week. I know we're getting off topic, but he said Dolphins Ravens. Hmm. Top the the game scores app this week. So very interesting. Okay. Uh, sure. Sergio Lopez in the chat says Juju might have trouble since J C Jackson is playing. Uh, I didn't see that he was playing. I thought that they said he was gearing up to play. Let's check. Uh, let's check that. But again, shout out, shout out to establish the run where we get we're getting our projections. Uh, a lot of this too is figuring out. How many? What's the ownership percentage on a lot of these guys, right? And obviously, since it's a singular game, there's going to be high ownership percentages. Um, yeah. Juju's clocking in at a 36, basically 37 percent ownership. Mike Williams is a hair under that at 35.8. Um, hmm. Well, one thing I don't like about Juju is like the number of snaps he played, um, and his. I mean, I know that probably going off of PFF efficiencies it's not the best thing but he was 77th uh in week one um so it it, does that given that that Jackson might be back does that make you so I'm getting I'm I'm reading yeah I'm reading here Jeremy Fowler uh from ESPN says Chargers corner JC Jackson considered a game time decision versus the Chiefs is pushing to play uh though pregame warmups will likely determine he's going to try to play a source says Hmm. so There's no, there's no for sure on that. We'll see. Uh, I mean, it's a big game. It's a, it, 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 I mean, it's, it is, but it's a long Chargers. season. Yes, but it's a long season too. Fair. Okay. Fair. Like, fair. 
you know, how many times have we seen somebody warm up, say that they're going to play, then tweak something or just not be ready? The coaching staff not scheme them into the game plan because they didn't know and just don't get used, right? Like, I feel like we've been burned by that a, a ton. Obviously, it's a defensive player, so it's not going to burn us like if we have them in our lineup. But yeah, yeah um, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, so the ownership percentages, uh, somewhat decent on those two. Um, what I find interesting too is checking their projections. Okay. And the guys from the guys from ETR do a great job on putting together what the best projections are for the game, right? And we've got the projection for Juju is about 15 points. Mike Williams, a projection of 16 points. And if you're looking at their ceiling, uh, we're looking at a ceiling for Juju of 22 and a ceiling for Mike Will of 24. So again, I'm not I'm not a slave to the projections, but yeah, I I'm trying it to figure out. Feel, it, is, it also doesn't feel kind of accurate, being that you know with Keenan Allen out, Mike Williams is going to get a lot of targets there. Um, he ran know. the most routes too. He ran the, ran the most routes and had the most playing uh, playing snaps. Of I keep I, he just any player of the wide receivers. He keeps getting disrespected. He also and... went two for ten. He also went two for ten last week. I know. Well, <laughs> it, I, I'll be it. They were by low. Buy low. Well, well, yes, and season longs buy low. In your fantasy, but yeah. I'll, albeit they were, they were up most of the game, so maybe they weren't going uh, as far with him. Um, okay, so you're feeling you're feeling a Charger stack, is that what you said? Man, we're gonna like, have to get I, somebody I, on a bring back. I have like, I have no I have no Mike Williams exposure, but I, it, it's kind of hard for me to not want to go with the with the Charger stack. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so how about this? So I like Mike Williams. I think Herbert is going to be good. Obviously, he's incredible. How about we do this? For our captain, a guy that I'm interested in, even though he didn't play great last week, uh, is Josh Palmer. And for a captain's per- captain's uh, salary of 7500 that gives us two other guys to play with at 10-5. So... This is going to be kind of like a high upside, high ceiling, low floor team with Josh okay. Palmer. Like if Josh Palmer hits, we're going to hit big. If Josh Palmer is just kind of like a fart. If Josh Palmer is just usual Josh Palmer. Yeah, we're kind of, if, kind of if stuck he's, there. If he is three for 47 and no touchdown, <laughs> we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of screwed. Um, hold on. I have... His last couple of games is he's been a full-time player. Uh, I have to find him here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so Josh Palmer, uh, given uh, at least 60% of snaps, he had three games of that last year where we had receiving lines of 5 for 66 and a touchdown, 5 for 43 and a touchdown, and 4 for 45 and a touchdown. Hmm. Those are on those are on games that he played more than sixty percent of the snaps, which we can kind of guarantee. We can pencil him, yeah. More, we can pencil yeah. him in as the wide receiver two for a team. Well, that let, is let's not do what? Let's, let's pick. Out. Let's pick some other guys. Oh, I mean, we we really don't have that much of a remaining salary here, so we're gonna. Have That's to what I'm saying. In. So if we're if we're going cheap on captain, we're gonna have to kind of figure out what we want to do here. Uh, a guy that I want to get in. Let's see. Who was our boy that uh, um, was it Carter? DeAndre Carter. We can add him, but but now we're playing the game of now we're gonna yeah. have three wide receivers on on the stack, which I'm not a huge. We got to get some charger. We got to get some uh, some chief blood. Some chiefs, yeah, some chiefs. Uh. If we go Juju, that leaves us with twenty five hundred bucks. That gives us what? Ooh. Uh, not not a great not, not great, great options, great. brother. Not, not great, great options, brother. if you want me to be honest. Not great uh, options. Here you go. Well, okay, see. so so we we for sure feel that we're gonna have an absolute shootout. I mean, I'm hoping we do. We're getting a, a okay, comments so in the chat asking to play Eckler and uh, no, Ozzy. Sorry, I'm not playing Eckler. It's bias. 
it's it might be foolish on my end. It might there's cost no me science three thousand dollars. There's no science behind it whatsoever. The 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 bias is I'm playing Eckler tonight in a big money league, and I will not be rooting for him whatsoever. So I am not playing Eckler. I'm sorry. Yikes. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Okay, how about we do this? How about we do Juju as our captain? Oof, that takes us down big time. Okay, I just got the alert. JC Jackson will play tonight per source. Moved mm. around really well during his workouts. Uh, big help versus Mahomes. Derwin James told uh, with Jackson they can do so much more defensively in terms of mixing things up. Well, upon that news, we're taking Juju Smith-Schuster out. Yeah. Also, Juju only played about 65% of the snaps last week to Mike Williams' 95% of the snaps. Right, right. Mike uh, Williams played excuse a ton me, of snaps. 93% of the snaps. He played a ton of snaps. Um, all right, let's let's... Here's a quick pivot. Let's go Mike Williams as our captain. Oh, no wonder he was so cheap. I didn't have it on uh, 1.5. Okay. Damn, 13.5. That means we got 13.5 to go with... Hmm. Sergio Lopez saying Hardman and Guyton. I like him as dart throws. Hmm. I like him at dart, as dart throws, but I'm nervous that... Even though the cheap, uh, yeah, flex. All right, we got to get Palmer in. Okay, we got eight five. If we get, we got to go Chiefs here. We got to go Chiefs here. Let's see. Mike Williams. Mike Williams. Yeah, he's he he got a ton of snaps, dude. Okay, how about this? Oh, how about this? Compound. How about this? Uh, can I interest you? Actually, let me see where Clyde is. How about Damn, some Clyde's Everett? Eight six. Um, okay. But again, now we're well. We can. All right. Let's see what Everett looks like here. I feel you. Right, we I, got feel 3, you I feel you. Thirty seven hundred. Yeah, we we it's... we're going we're we're kind going of for big time. Yes, we're we're kind of going. Okay, Chargers are going to be spreading the ball around and scoring a lot of touchdowns. I like the I like the. Uh... I like Ozzy's Ozzy's count on maybe Jarek McKinnon cheap dart throw. Yes, he is, and that's exactly what I was about to say with Lou. Um, what if I paint you a picture of Jarek McKinnon playing a lot more because the Chargers are up, the Chiefs need to come back, and they're using Jet as their third down and pass catching two minute back. Hmm. Can I interest you in that? You can. You absolutely can. Do you think that? Uh, this is also why I love. Uh... It's tricky. It's tricky. It is tricky. Uh, hold on, I'm finding. Sergio, the... I'm not. I, I'm not sold on Hardman, honestly. Um, not for this week. I wish we would pick this guy right here. This guy's the best. Who? Come oh, on. Travis Kelsey. Oh no. boy, the boy. Um, how much does he cost? How much is he costing right now? Right now, I mean, far more than what we can spend. Yeah, eleven the grand. Most expensive available player. Wow. All right, so we need to if we want to fit Kelsey in, which I'm fine with, we got to find seventy three hundred dollars to give back. Brother, me and you both need to find seventy hundred seventy three hundred dollars yeah. here. Facts. Um, okay, if we take out Mike Will, I'm okay his- not making Mike Will the captain. Okay. But I do think we need to play Mike Will. And if, I mean, this is obvious, but if we don't play Mike Will, it has to be Juju. And I really think, given just pure snap counts and who's going to get the opportunities there, it's going to be Mike Williams over Juju. Even though I think, you, I mean, let's say your theory, which is not a theory, there's a lot of smart football science behind it, where um, if Kelsey is going to get just blanketed by Derwin and just completely shut down, then... That really opens up the door. Now, what I am interested in, in in those in those games against the Chargers, how did Tyreek Hill do? Like, I know that Juju's not Tyreek Hill, but well, Tyreek Tyreek Hill, uh, just off the top of my head, had a game last year against the Chargers where he went ten. Take a look. He went ten for like a hundred. If I'm not mistaken, he went ten for a hundred. Or t- I know he caught. He had a game where he caught a ton of passes against them. 
You yeah, might I'm have trying to, to. I'm trying to go into uh, last year's box score. Yeah. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on. There was there was a massive game that he caught a long touchdown in. I want to say he went over 100 yards in both games, caught a touchdown in one, but didn't catch a, catch a touchdown in the other. And that's just a, the top of my head. I'm not 100 percent sure. I haven't talked to anybody. I have no idea. I haven't looked. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't talk to anybody. I have no idea. Uh, let's take a look at that. Um, Alonzo, Sorry, no, for... no Ceh. My issue with Ceh is the following: obviously scored two touchdowns last week. They were using him a little bit more. They were winning. All of a sudden, he comes out. I don't know if they're sold on him as much. I know that they want to get him in space. They want to get him the ball with an open field. I don't know how committed they are to running him in between the tackles. Which All is right, so check this out. I have, I have some Charger stats with Tyreek Hill. Again, okay. not saying Juju's Tyreek Hill, but also not saying that Juju's Nobody is, bomb. right. Yeah. Um, in their first, in their second matchup, excuse me. Oh, it's, this is backwards. This is like, it's in the, the order's inverse. So in his right. first matchup, he went five, uh, five receptions for seven, with seven targets for 56 yards and no touchdowns. Okay. That game. Now, I am interested to see in this game, how did Kels do? Which I'm pretty sure it's going to not be as good. Well, oh, actually, Derwin James, Kels. Well, Derwin James wasn't playing. And that, that's okay. why he had a good game. <laughs> that's why Kels went seven for 104. That totally makes all the sense. Correct. The he didn't Correct. catch a touchdown, but he did ball out. But in the other game with the Chargers, uh, the second game in uh, the Thursday night game on the 12th of uh, the 16th of December of last year, Ke um, not Kels, Tyreek Hill went uh, 12 receptions with 13 targets for a, four, uh, a buck 48 and a touchdown. Okay, so that's the game I remember him, him going completely off. And um, th I, I think in that same game let's take a look at how our boy fared that was an overtime game i remember that game that game was crazy okay how Actually, about this how about this our boy balled out in that game too well oh, derwin james boy. wasn't playing i think i think derwin james was out all last year okay fair enough what if we go hear me out on this okay this might okay, be crazy i'm listening i'm listening yeah you're what right if, derwin james was not on the field yeah so okay. what if we swap but justin jackson charges. was jc jackson Correct. Justin Jackson was their running back. I want to say. Um, what if what if we go? What if we go dart That's throw, what I mean. long long touchdown, for MVS. He gets open, eighty yard strike. All of a sudden, those those points are one point five. What if we go MVS as our captain, to save a little bit of money. I do want to make a correction. You're right. I read that wrong because it was just Jay Jackson and it was Justin Jackson's on the special team. I got a tackle. <laughs> All right. What if we go... Damn, we're going like super dart throw here. Uh, oh, boy. That's spooky, dog. Oof. Uh, I would say Jalen Guyton to throw another... Dart throw, but again, played three snaps last, yeah, last that's, week. That's all very, very... He... Uh, and you want both these quarterbacks, right? I mean, I'd like both of them because they're. I think they're both going to score a lot of points. Jeroz, Hovarth. <laughs> That'd be funny. I, I'm, I'm, I'm more... I'm more of the belief that we don't play Travis. Okay. And we save a little bit of money. Okay. Keep Everett out there. What uh, if we go what if we go MVS, Juju, Everett, and then we've got forty six hundred bucks that we can get DeAndre but, Carter. Yeah, and you and you uh so we're we're hoping for a shootout in where we have our third uh yeah, third offensive option in MVS. Hoping that he scores a a long touchdown that'll give us a boost. We have Mahomes, we have Herbert. I think those will be our two highest scoring guys on the slate. And obviously their their ownership percentage is massive. We have Juju. Okay. Gerald Everett, DeAndre Carter as kind of dart throws that we hope can can catch a touchdown like last week. And and talk to me as to why you like Carter over Palmer. It's it's purely on price, right? It's purely on price. Like 
Palmer is 5K and Carter yeah, is 4,600. Really, so we'd have, we'd to, have to figure out where we get 400 bucks from. Unless. Yeah, but we're putting a lot of stock into. Into the Chiefs Kansas, offense? Yeah. Yeah, we are. But they're also a buzz on. They were probably the best or second best offense of the of the week last one yeah Mm -hmm. yeah no i got you i mean right behind kansas city right all right i mean up there at kansas city you know bills are insane shout out to gabe davis percent exposure on my leagues that guy um let's take a look here let's do let's do a little jeff is saying no juju mvs is the kansas city receiver i want that's why he's our captain though jeff but we also all right let's say if we take out juju at 8k take out carter then uh, no, actually, leave Carter. Leave Carter I can't. We can't even get Clyde. We can't get Mike Williams. All right, we got tw- we got twelve six to work with. Let's put in Josh Palmer. We're gonna have seven six to work with. So that means we have uh, Herbert Palmer Everett. Oh shit! Mom. We can get Chase Daniel or Easton Stick, the two backups in Kansas City for six grand. Sick. Or we can get <laughs> Chad Henney. Oh, sick. So I like Joshua Palmer. Just because he had like a way higher snap count, but I'm not sure if that's because of. Um, Who say it again? Who my bad? Palmer, Palmer, yeah, Over Carter, Carter. We, yeah. But so now we have 7,600 to work with, and now we got to figure out who who is worth it at 76. We don't really have anybody. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to dart throw somebody from down here. Kickers are interesting. Kickers are interesting, but let's look at Sky Moore. Yeah, Sky like Moorhead. Eckler, Sky Moorhead. Eckler. Go. Sorry, not 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 to drag it back to Eckler, but Eckler only had fifty percent of the snaps. Like I know. That's what am I'm I saying. reading that right? You're reading it right. He had eighteen or touches I... again on fifty percent of the snaps, but still. Uh, all right. Let's let's I'm see sure. here. Uh how much do we have? Seventy six hundred. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I just, I, I actually do like the MVS. Captain, how much money do you save? How much? How much? Uh, Ninety six hundred to. To Juju's eight thousand. But then it's. Bum, 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 bum. How do we do this? If we like, difference. do we like do we like Palmer or not? I like Palmer over over Carter. If that's your question, and I do like Everett. I'm I sorry, think Gerald man. Everett is a lock. Uh, Tim is saying I'm starting Everett instead of Waller. Yes. So I have a, a rooting interest in the game. LOL. Bad idea, or might actually work out well. So. Take a question. Take a I look. am I am I am a prisoner of let me get some juice on the game and let me start somebody that I can I can have recency or confirmation bias on this guy being good. Again, I said everybody go pick up Gerald Everett. I like Gerald Everett. I want to be attached to guys within that uh, LA offense. But you draft Darren Waller in the probably fourth fifth sixth round you Correct. need to do what you can to play your guy right yeah, he you was, need to play your guys i think he went what five for 70 something last week against the chargers and he was he got tripped up on what two plays that could have been touchdowns i'm going with waller i have i have a, a good amount of waller exposure too and i'm sticking with darren waller over everybody all right, guys, let's figure it out here, huh? Let's figure it the fuck out. All right, let's go with Mahomes, Herbert for sure. I like Palmer. I like. If we Everett. like Palmer, if we like Palmer, let's make let's make a play. All right, let's make a play skis and put Palmer as our guy. Okay, we got seventy five hundred here. I like how the math is adding up on that. So we got yeah, we have we have a three. We have a three by one right now, Charger to, to Chief. Now we want to start getting our Chiefs in. Okay, let's get MVS at sixty four hundred. Now we have a, a palatable thirty, eighty three hundred. 
How do you like that? We got 300 bucks remaining. We got Josh Palmer as our guy. We're hoping for at least what he's been is four or five receptions, 40 to 50 yards in a touchdown in games that he's played more than 60% of the snaps. I'll take that. He's going to be outside opposite Mike Williams. We'll take Josh Palmer as our, as our captain. Mahomes and Herbert are going to be the highest scores, highest scoring guys on the slate. MVS, we're looking for a long touchdown. Gerald Everett, we're hoping for a goal line score. And Juju, hopefully he can get away from JC Jackson enough to make it worthwhile. Again, six for 79 last he does week worry against. Me. Yeah, he's right. He does, of course. But everybody, I feel like everybody. Everybody, wor- everyone's going to worry you at some point. Right. I can make a case against everybody. How much is Everett's price as the 1.5? Okay, I like the way you think. I like the way you think, brother. It's Palmer and Everett. Uh, 7,200. That gives us a little bit. No, it doesn't it gives make a, a little bit more, but Josh it's, Palmer's... Who, who do we put right now? That's we're saving the same amount of money. To. We're saving the same amount of money. And... Okay, and if we do MVS again, it was like nine grand, right? It was. It was ninety six. Yeah, it was ninety six. I think you know what, bro? I like that lineup. Me One point five oh, me on Palmer, oh. and then throw Everett in there. We have equal exposure. We got you know, um, going off of last week's game, everyone in this lineup is a top eight in snap counts across both teams. Obviously, Justin and, and Mahomes are you know nearly a hundred percent. Patrick Mahomes was taken out of the game uh, late in the game. Joshua Palmer boasted a 75%, MVS at 73%, Gerald, uh, Gerald Everett at 66%, Juju had, did we throw Juju in there? Yeah, we threw Juju in there. He was at, those, I, I'm, I'm literally looking at it, first, second, Mike Williams was third. Yeah, dude, the, six out of the seven, how many did we pick? Six out of the seven, seven people with snap count percentages are in this lineup right now. So according to EstablishTheRun.com, uh, when we're talking about utilization of roster construction, right? We've got six mm. spots and we can go one underdog, five favorites. We can go five favorites, one underdog. We can go two, four, three, three, four, two, right? Three, three is the most utilized roster construction at 42%. So right now we've got a roster of three and three, which means that a lot of other people are going to have three and three. By the math, we're doing a 41, a 42% lineup and what yields the highest percentages of the three three well yeah the highest the highest utilization is is three three followed Mm -hmm. by two four of uh dogs to favorites okay sorry i have a dual screen that's why you see me looking at one screen and move this screen over to the other side so i can get a little bit more sorry if i made a lot of noise uh, zag when everyone zigs, Brusco. I uh, I know, but I feel like we're we're zigging when everybody's zigging, because forty two percent of the people are are zigging the same way we're zigging. So, you know, the zag. But how often is three three optimal? Uh, that's that's depending on depending on the game, on, right? I assume not not only on the game, and obviously it's harder to do it on a showdown slate because we're only f- playing with two teams. But I think we have options that are probably going to be less utilized let's look at the projections really quick um what i like about josh palmer being our captain is that he's owned at a seven percent ownership which is really low Mm -hmm. um even available in our league in our shared league probably not somebody drafted him ben um Let's see. We got Palmer. We have Palmer at. Wow, a lot of people are actually playing Palmer. 40% are playing Palmer. Gerald Everett's getting played at 22%, 27%. Juju at 37%. How about MVS? MVS the only at 20, other, 28%. The only, the only other. Um... Dímelo, mi gente. What's the word? Que okay, well, the only other like construction that I see here is probably slotting an MVS as our as our captain and then getting your boy Carter in there and sticking to your TikTok. But I just like the utilization, dude. Like 
So we're t- you take Palmer out, put MVS as captain, and then and then slot Carter in there instead if of you Juju. Want, if you want to get like a difference, you know what I mean. If that's our if that's our goal, but I also feel like I'm downgrading across the board. Bro, you know what? I actually really like this lineup. Me too. We have the narrative of both quarterbacks getting after it. We're hoping for for dart throws with MVS and with Josh Palmer or Gerald Everett to score a touchdown. Juju, as as we saw last week, can get shit done without having to score a touchdown. Six for seventy nine. Um, I like it. What about Guyton? Just out of curiosity, Jalen Guyton. So here's the thing. Uh, yeah, I, I think. Them. Yes, agreed. I think that DeAndre Carter has jumped him in the wide receiver rotation. Uh, Guyton, I, I don't even know if Guyton got snaps last week. If he did, it was like uh, less you know, than right five. Now. He might have gotten like three snaps last week. He got yeah, his utilization compared to Carter's. You're talking about a, about a 40% for Carter, about an 8% for Guyton. Yeah, so he played 8% of the snaps versus 40 for DeAndre Carter. Like, that's just not... Again, that could be somebody that can catch an 80-yard touchdown, but like, uh. and 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 let's be real, like it's only week one, right? Right, right. Like, so it, it, using those snap counts is tough, just because game script may have been different. Um, but given the fact that this is probably going to be a, a shootout, at least we're I, I, I hoping. Hope we're hoping. I hope it is. I really hope it is. Um, okay. Also, I'm- by the way, shout out to our boy last week for the McKenzie pick. Oh, Drew, Drew, yeah. He, even though the utilization rate and the snaps for Zay McKenzie were not great, Jameson Crowder ate into a bunch of his snaps, which I'm sure people are not happy. Um, we got chart. We got uh, Chiefs and Actives for tonight. No surprise, Harrison Bucker, Ronald Jones. Uh, those are kind of the two fantasy relevant guys. Harrison Bucker, and, uh, Ronald Jones, are scratches. Um, all right, I like our I like our lineup, man. Palmer, Mahomes, Herbert, Scant, MVS, uh, Gerald Everett, and Juju Smith-Schuster. I'm updating the entry. Let's I'm go. sending it in. There it is. Beep, 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 beep. There it is. Uh, let's see. Contest. Oh, that's my best ball team. How did we do last week? Uh, I won eight bucks. Hey. <laughs> Come on. I won eight bucks last week. Um, do we want to run through really quick, like lightning fast, maybe say like one thing per team on week two? Like on the per slate? All 32 teams? Yep. Let's do it. Well, for, for each game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Correct. We are going to go super fast here. Let me see if I let's, can find. Uh, let's pull up. A yeah. Sketch. Can you hold up? You know what? Let me, let me actually. So oh, I'll sh- yell the game out. I'll yell the game out. And then uh, you give me your analysis. Um, and then if I have something for that game, I'll give you that analysis too. Um, I heard Tony's taking an L to J. Jeff this weekend. Oof. Jonathan, uh, that's our boy John from our uh, prestigious private select league. I'm the commissioner of that league. I'm the commissioner. What are we talking about? Oh, uh, funny story. We'll, we'll, I'll I was going to say, I've been, I've been the biggest proponent of Justin Jefferson this entire year. I don't, I was, yeah, whatever. But no, playing against them that this week against. uh, I know, but I still have digs. I still have uh, a good amount of people. I'm not worried. All right, let's do it. Uh, We're gonna do. Let's skip tonight's game, right? Yes, we're skipping tonight's game. We're gonna do 27 seconds on every game. I thought that's wait. That's that's 17 more seconds than I thought we'd we'd do. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna do 10 seconds. Lightning, lightning, lightning. Lightning. Oh, lightning. Okay, okay. I'll shoot it at you. Ready? Three, two. New York at Cleveland. The Jets at Cleveland. I like Elijah Moore's uh, utilization. He has 93 percent of the snap counts, and he's gonna get a ton of targets. I'm I'm worried about Jacoby Brissett and this offense being good. Um, I'm really worried about Amari Cooper, who was absolute dust last week. Um, Donovan People Jones is good. Nick Chubb's gonna get the ball a ton. Kareem Eleven Hunt's targets. Get the ball a ton. Uh, the Jets still have to figure out what they're doing on offense. They can't have Flacco throw 59 times. They can't have him throwing 59 times and Salah running up. Time! Through. Washington, Detroit. Uh, commies versus the Lions. Uh, again, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep banging the drum for the Lions. I think this is a really good offense. The Sun God is going to go absolutely nuclear. I think he's about to tie uh, Megatron for the most, ca- the most eight catch games in Lions history. And he's had him in a row, like seven or eight in a row. So I'm excited about him. Excited about DeAndre Swift, even though he's got the ankle. 
Uh, Hinkle, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, Yeah, I, I like the Lions this week. Uh, we got Tampa at New Orleans. New Orleans. Mar- Marshawn Lattimore usually silences Mike Evans. Uh, and of course, <gasps> no Godwin. Surprise, surprise, hamstring. Yeah, well, Always, no, dude. I think it's a calf. Oh, well, no, hamstring for Chris Godwin. There's a calf injury for Mike Evans. Uh, Leonard Fournette looked really good. Brady's good. still looking good. Their defense looks elite. I'm interested as this, for from a fantasy perspective, uh, I think Michael Thomas is starting to get on the right foot. Obviously, he had two touchdowns last week, but surprise. We'll see. We'll honestly. see. Uh, yeah. Carolina, I like New York the, Giants. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, I, I like the Saints as a live dog. I like him plus three. So, and a half, I think. Carolina at New York Giants. Saquon is back. 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 Yes. In, a, in a big way. Saquon is back in a big way. And uh, they, they really don't have anybody else. They're playing Sterling Shepard off an Achilles injury, who's 30 years old. Kenny Galladay, I've heard people say that he's a mannequin running <laughs> running on the field. Oh, Kenny Galladay, brother. Kenny Galladay is not good. He's uh, a mannequin. He's a mannequin running down the field. Kadarius Tony played seven snaps last week. But I really want to talk about how piss poor I think the Panthers coaching staff is. Matt Rule is an absolute fool. He is not a good coach. They sign him to a big deal. And every single year, he continues to do the same shit. He never wow. gets a quarterback that's worth anything. He has the, the ammunition to draft a quarterback. Never does. Always tries to get the veteran guy. They have Baker, who's been their best quarterback for the probably the last you know three or four years. They've got weapons on the outside. They don't use DJ Moore. Uh, Baker doesn't throw to McCaffrey. Like, what are we doing? What then are Matt we doing? Rule comes, Matt Rule comes out and says, you know what? We're going we're gonna to pass more. Like, what do you – like, yeah, we need to be passing the ball. This is 2022. Hey, I, you what, took the words like, out of my mouth. What are we it's 2022 doing? 2022 and you have DJ Moore and Christian McCaffrey. Like, what's up? And what's Robbie up? Anderson, who, who changed his name from Robbie with a Y to Robbie with an EI, caught a 72-yard touchdown pass. Is that for, for real? Yeah. But wow. okay. you know, I mean, sure. Baker Baker has weapons, that, and I'm I'm such a DJ Moore truther that I I sound like some Panthers fan. I've just been, and I'm sorry if you're a Panthers fan out there listening in the chat. Um, they're bad. They're so bad. Why are they so bad on offense? Honestly, because Matt Rule is a clown. Yeah, yeah. He uh, someone said Matt Rule is a Stugatsu coach. That's he funny. Wishes. Jackson, watch he this. Wishes. You got Jacksonville and Indianapolis. I'm gonna. This is my upset pick of the week. The live dog Jags. Okay, oh go God. into Indy. Or are they I playing at home? You. Let me see. They're playing at home. No, Jackson, they're playing at home. Jackson, okay. Yeah, so home. live home live dogs. The Jags beat the Colts straight up. Live doggy. Okay. Okay. Trevor Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Trevor Lawrence is looking good. Did you see his uh, his speech? His little like he's like, hey guys, I did let's not, go play football. I did not hey see guys, the speech. Play football. Maybe that. It's a good time. That might change. That might change my uh, my perception. But uh, Christian Kirk's been really good. Zay Jones somehow. Christian Kirk has been very very good. Zay yeah. Jones. Shout out to Zay Jones. I took pictures of him uh, uh, about two years ago when uh, at a Ray Lewis event. Super nice guy. Mira me Luis. Mira me Luis. Uh, we got New England at Pittsburgh. I want zero part of anything. I know you're a big Stevenson fan, but I've nothing to do with New England. I hate them because I'm a Finn fan, and I hate them because they're the Patriots. Their team, and I, I said this on, I think, multiple occasions. Oh, I said it with uh, that guy, Alex, that texted me um, on, on his uh, Dolphins Rewind show here in Miami. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the Patriots have the worst roster in the AFC East, and I don't think that's an exaggeration. I think the Jets, top to bottom, have a better roster than the Patriots do. The Patriots yeah. have a bunch of mismatched pieces that don't go together. They spent a lot of money on guys that aren't good. Hunter Henry, Jonu Smith, two tight ends that don't move the needle. Uh, you have Nelson Aguilar, you have Devontae Parker, you have Kendrick Devontae Bourne. Devontae Parker. Can we talk about Devontae you have Parker guys that are not You have guys that are not good on this uh, offense and a quarterback that is trying to figure out what he's doing with weapons that aren't good. Devontae Parker, man, as a Finn fan, I'm just happy that he's in New England. I'm so happy that they've put up with his ass. So that's great. We got a uh, Pittsburgh side. What do you got? Uh... Najee had a little bit of an injury, but he was yeah, like, guys, I'm, I'm picking for up, sure going to play. I'm picking up Jalen Warren wherever I can in my leagues. I think that Najee is behind a really bad offensive line. You don't just have a Liz Frank injury and not, Ugh, not have it ugly. be a, a recurring theme throughout the, 
throughout the season. So I'd pick up Jalen Warren, Warren wherever you can. Uh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of Trubisky. I think they're going to pepper Deontay Deontay Johnson with targets. Uh, we have to see if George Pickens is still around. They use Claypool more as a runner. Uh, I, I'm going to take the uh, Steelers. Uh, just clicked that on my thing. We got, ooh, my favorite game of the week, just because I'm biased, Miami at Baltimore. Adam Rout said that it was the uh, it was the game score, Algo's favorite game. Uh, I think that there could be some fireworks when it comes to Tua and Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill. Uh, I don't know if Marlon Humphrey's going to play. He got injured. I think he's in- injured his groin. Um, Lamar's kind of on a mission this year to prove that he's uh, – an, uh, worthy yeah, yeah worthy worthy of the contract that he's asking which by for. the way it's so silly that he has to prove anything to anybody honestly and and people saying that he can't throw him like guys what are we like what are we actually doing are you watching football curtis samuel are you this weekend uh i want to bet on Ayuk, but i don't know i i curtis samuel's 11 targets was big the trade Anyways, yeah it, it is but it's probably not gonna happen again and uh, uh actually i take that back it probably will happen again unfortunately uh, I picked Hunter Henry over him uh, about ten you, minutes before Sunday because I'm bad at fantasy. Because I'm bad at fantasy football, uh, and yeah, being zero two in the playoff for Lamar Jackson does not mean that he's a bad quarterback. Because thankfully, football is absolutely a team sport. Even though he probably you know made a couple plays. Brandon Ayuk, uh, Curtis Samuel play the Brandon Ayuk thing. These guys were playing in a swamp. They were at literally uh, Rapids Water Park in, in uh, <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. Okay, for those seven of you who people, don't know Rapids, seven people got that. Yeah. Um, that was overall a bad game to measure any sort of offense uh, on either side because, you know, it was they were playing in the mangroves. Uh, I got Atlanta at the Rams. What do you got? I, I love – go pick up Marcus Mariota wherever you can. I really like Marcus Mariota. I think he's a good dual-threat quarterback, and that's all that matters in fantasy. Forget about everything else. Uh, forget the about Rams, it. Forget about it. The Rams are interesting. They're a Cooper Cup t- uh, injury away from being a really bad team. A really bad team. Their offense is not good outside of Cooper Cup. Um, I want to see Kyle Pitts get more involved. I want to see A Rob get more involved. Well, yeah, we're still we still have the Amber Alert out for Allen Robinson. This is a get right game for both teams. This is kind of a sneaky, I think a, a sneaky, uh, sneaky shootout. shootout game. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, Cordero Patterson uh, picked him stepped up, up big, no. stepped up massive. Damian Damian Williams got hurt after three plays and. Patterson came in and he's 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 legit. He's a really good football. Brother, player. I picked him up in the tenth round of our fantasy draft. Uh, we got Seattle at San Fran. I really like. I, I think Trey Lance is going to have a massive comeback uh, comeback game. He, There's only one quarterback that pound for pound rushed more than he did, and that guy's name is <gasps> Lamar Jackson. Hmm. Second is Trey Lance. Uh, Seahawks had a nice nice like a moral victory as well as a victory in the in the win column uh usually those are not intertwined but uh i'm worried i'm still worried about what the seattle offense is going to do i want to see where trey lance is going to go with his targets obviously eli mitchell not there anymore jeff wilson is going to be the guy you spent a lot of money on jeff <sighs> wilson this week didn't you i did i did i i put my money where my mouth is dude like i, I told you guys go pick up jeff wilson and i spent 56 bucks on jeff wilson so we turn on a light here, dude. Jesus. Oh, Christ. man. I, need to, I was so thirsty. Uh, your brother was trying to trade me a bunch of Seahawks players, and I was like, brother, I want nothing. I want 0% Seattle exposure. Uh, next game is Cincinnati at Dallas. Dak Prescott is out with an injury. They refuse to put him on the IR because Jerry Jones is a bad person. Um, Joe Mixon, super involved. I know big that's time. an obvious big, play. Yes, yes. But my, my, I think my bigger point, in, and, and this is as a Joe Mixon owner in our private select league, uh, number one, one of the top leagues in the, in the United States, um, he had a ton of targets. Saying. ton of targets for Joe Mixon, which is a little he bit did. of a change he of pace did. for him. He's usually a, a, you can pencil him in to be a two, a two down back. They would bring in Samaji P. Ryan for, for third downs, but his, his snaps on third downs were, were up. His targets were up. They utilized him in the past game. That's something that you didn't think you were going to get when you drafted Joe Mixon. Um, they're going to be a team that's going to score a lot of touchdowns. Jamar Chase is good. Yeah. T. Higgins is good. He's, even though he he's left out this the, week. I think he's out this week with a concussion. I think they're just going to hold him out. Sti- they're, they're still saying that they're going to hold him out. Okay, I haven't, I haven't heard anything. Uh, the, Cowboys are, the Cowboys are done. You heard it here first. The Cowboys are done. Cooper Rush. I want to call you out. I'm going to call you out. 
I'm going to call okay. you out on something that you did to me. And I knew I like I'm thankfully we're smart football people, so I didn't fall for it. But you try to get me to draft CD Lamb in the second round. You tried to get me to draft CD Lamb. Well, no, hold on, hold on. In all in all fairness and in all transparency, I love CD Lamb this year. Like him and Dak would have combined for a, th- a 27 to 30 uh, percent target share on that team. Like CD Lamb was going to have a 1500 yard year. Dak got hurt. Now he's got Cooper Rush. Now I don't want any part of him. All right, we got to keep going. We got to keep going. Hurry up. Houston at Denver. Uh, big big revenge game for Russ. After what happened last week, I think he comes out and and shows Houston. Who's I like Jerry him. Judy over Cortland Sutton. Uh, Javante Williams utilization. Uh, eleven Jerry eleven Judy. passes, eleven catches for Javante Williams check down machine. I don't think Russ yeah. is going to be that check down heavy anymore. I hope not because there's no reason for him to do so with the weapons that you they think, have. Do you think in one week they they kind of like revive that offense or like if like, they had they better? Is, is Russell going to like, yo, can you just let me do my thing? Can you guys just let me do the thing they, that, I'm, that you, you paid me all this money to do? Can you? They, they better. Ooh, Tony Collati, you'd said, I don't know if that's your dad or not, but he says, Gerald Everett, two TDs today. It wasn't me, so it must have been him. It must have been Pops. All right, we got Arizona at Vegas. Arizona's offense is anemic. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking Vegas here big. I think that uh, I think the Raiders have something to prove after getting... You know, clowned last week against the. Uh, how many goofy Chargers. goobers? How many goofy goobers in the chat passed up on Devonte Adams because they had no idea that Devonte Adams was as good as he is? A lot, a lot. A lot. Who who many who had him goobers. going ten for one forty one in a touchdown? Speaking of goofy goobers, it was your brother, not your dad. <laughs> oh, weird. And the last game on the slate here. There's two more games. I'm sorry. There's we have Chicago. There's three more games. Wow, two Monday night games. Nice. I like it. Chicago yeah, at Green up. Bay. Um. Green Bay, dude. Aaron Rodgers, he gets his offense. They got to figure two of his out. Offense. But he does get two of his his offensive liners back. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that was a huge. Uh, no, but the problem is that they have there. the problem is that they have no weapons on the outside. They've got Christian Watson. They've got Romeo Doves. Lazard may be coming back. They have the ghost of Sammy Watkins. They have BBT, the who I like. Of Sammy Watkins. Yeah, they have BBT, who I like. But come on, like he's not playing that much. They've got two running backs, and that's what their offense is flowing through. And Rogers probably pissed that he's having to deal with it, but it is what it is. Um, I just don't think the Bears are good, though. Like the the Packers are going to win. I think Rogers kind of somehow finds a way to use the the lemons that they've given him and make lemonade with it. Uh, no, we haven't seen that Aubrey Plaza movie, but she's uh, you know making a comeback here. Uh, pick up Khalil Herbert. Yeah, he's take gonna take a D, he he'll he'll take a take over Demon's job. By the way, by the way, better. just just as a just as a quick personal plug, the guys that I told you to avoid, the guys that I told you to fade, almost all of them hit. Hey, me saying hit, which they didn't do great. <laughs> yes, almost all of them should have been faded. Correct. Right. Correct. That's that's what I meant. She is having a moment. That's the correct line. I that's a fine for me. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, uh, oh, my favorite team. That it shouldn't be my favorite team because I'm a Dolphin fan. But we have Tennessee at Buffalo. You know me, brother. Tennessee's bad. Buffalo's going to steamroll them. It's not going to be close. They're going to win by. And I'm you're going to win by all in four touchdowns. I'm all in on Gabe Davis. I know. And all in on con- Gabe Davis. He's going to continue. He's going to continue doing it. The the Titans are not good. Their their team is not good. Like Derrick Henry is starting to slow down a little bit. There, he, he literally got a ton of targets. He ton did. of targets. He did. And Derrick Henry needs for his team to be good. He's getting to a point now where he's not going to be able to elevate the team on his back as he probably has back in the day. But you're looking at Robert Woods, who's 30 off an ACL. Nick Westbrook, Akina, who's just a guy. Uh, Traylon Burks, who's a rookie that is not going to be utilized that much. That's it. That's all you got? That's it. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna beat him by four touchdowns. Like, what do you and the final final game in the slate, uh, final game on the Monday night slate is gonna be Minnesota at Philly. Wow, AJ Brown. Are you expecting <sighs> what that? a game? What a game that's gonna do be. Do you feel that's, like a little bit of a goober? That's my that's favorite. A... That's my favorite game on the slate. Uh, Monday night. You're all in on the Vikings. Oh my God, I've been I've been in on the Vikings for a long time, right? I've been a Kirk Cousins guy for a long time. Yeah. And even back when they had Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen, like that, I, I loved watching the Vikings. They had a plus defense. 
and they just couldn't put things together. Their their division obviously was a little bit more tough with the Packers being as strong as they were. Now I think it's the Vikings division to own. Justin Jefferson is the best wide receiver on the planet. Nobody can stop him. He is the best player. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. You're right about that. The scheme, the scheme is incredible. Uh Kevin O'Connell's a smart football person. And what happens when you put smart football people with good, you know, really great talents, they they elevate, right? Kirk Cousins now. Like I I don't know. I don't know what else to tell people. Like he's good. Yeah, like what else what else do you want? Like he's what else do you he's want? a good quarterback. Uh on the other side of the ball, I love obviously I've everybody's you know known that I've had the take that I like Jalen Hurts over Tua. I will stand by that take no matter what. I because... I'm sorry Tua non as a Dolphin fan. I'm of that same belief. And I said it last year. Jalen Hurts has more juice than Tua. However you want to spin that. Jalen Hurts has more juice than Tua. More sauce. More sauce. That's it. That's also it. bigger too. I didn't like what Tua said about like, oh, if I, I'm small, like if I can't see you, I can't throw the ball to you. I'm like, bro, don't don't tell people that. When did when did Drew Brees ever say that? <laughs> Never. Oh, okay. Anyways, that does it for the week two slate. Um, anything else? Tony? No, I just just uh, excited to see football again. Um, I'm. I'm just going thankful. going back. I'm last thankful, thing, man. going back, going back to that Philly game. Um, Miles Sanders, huh? Back from the dead, huh? He's an he's, yes. a, he's an efficient runner. He's an efficient runner. He hasn't been able to capitalize well, by getting Saquon into the two end years zone. ago. Well, I mean, at Penn State, he was amazing, right? He was the second coming of Saquon. But I mean, you 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 get put in positions, you get hurt. You know, regime changes, like shit happens. You know what I mean? But Correct. he's been he's always been an efficient runner. He just hasn't been able to get into the end zone. I think they said on the on the broadcast, like this is his first touchdown in like two years. I was like, wait, what? How? I don't know if that's right. We might have to fact check that, but whatever. Anyways, the music's on. You know what that means? We're wrapping it up. Smart game. football people. We are giving an you hour, yeah, an hour and ten minutes away from the game. Again, smart football people every Thursday getting you. Let's show them uh, the lineup one more time for the ones who, for everyone who joined later. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're going to pull it up just so you guys can see it. I, I did uh, see a, a, a giant spike, a massive spike in viewership. It was uh, pretty nice. Let me know when you're ready for that so I can launch it there. But, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, me and Tony just trying to, you know, trying to figure it out. We, we want some fantasy football coverage. We work for DraftKings. I mean, we work for Metal Arc Media, but, you know, we're in bed with DraftKings and. How okay, here you go. Hold up, hold up. Kings. Ready? In three, two. Thank you. Showing. Thank you oh. for. Oh, there you go. Thank you for filibust filibustering. We have Josh Palmer as our captain. We got Mahomes. We got Herbert. We got Juju. We got MVS, and we got Gerald Everett. Uh, really excited for this game. I think this is going to be one of the best uh, Thursday night games of the season. Um, again, check it out on Amazon Prime. Uh, thank you for everybody for watching, for listening, for hanging out with the boys. We're going to do it every Thursday, probably around. 6 to 6.30, somewhere in that range. But have fun. Watch these we games. We love you guys. Yeah, Honestly, thank you. we love thank you thank guys. Thank you for hanging right. out, for real. Just um, also, quick programming note. Uh, after us, you actually have the MoCo team, Renee Montgomery and company, doing a Shout live tailgate. Yeah, doing a live tailgate uh, at 8.15 for the WNBA game tonight. It starts at 9 o'clock. So, again, thank you, everybody, for watching. We love you guys. We'll be back same time, same place, same channel. Peace. Peace.